First at 10, a father and son arrested in the deaths of a pregnant teen and her boyfriend. These are brand new mugshots of 19 year old Christopher Preciado and 53 year old Ramon Preciado. Police believe that Christopher shot and killed Savannah Soto and Matthew Guerra just before midnight on December 21st. Ramon is accused of helping his son hide the couple's bodies. And new tonight, emotional reaction from both of the victims' families. Ken's 5 reporter Megan Reyna has been covering this case from the start and joins us live with the latest. Megan? Well, EC is Henry. We now know that both Savannah Soto and Matthew Guetta were killed before their families even realized that they were missing. Both families tell me tonight they are relieved to hear about these arrests, but they know this is just the beginning to fully getting justice. You know, I came across Fabian's glove and it brought back talks me and Matt had about the different sports he was going to be in. So, you know. This one hurts. Thursday, Gabriel Guetta visited his son's apartment where a nursery was set up for baby Fabian. Hung up on the walls by the crib were these ultrasound photos. I wish I could have seen uh, him and the father stage of his life. Instead, both families are finalizing funeral plans. Nothing's going to, you know, fix the heartaches that we're having to deal with. Both families watched online Wednesday night as 19-year-old Christopher Preciado and his father, 53-year-old Ramon Preciado, were taken away in handcuffs. In these arrest affidavits, it states investigators used Savannah's cell phone and surveillance video to track these two down and bring them in for questioning. It states Christopher admitted to police he was meeting Savannah and Matthew for a marijuana deal. Christopher claimed Matthew pointed a gun at him, which is what led up to the shootings. But detectives say his claims were inconsistent with the couple's gunshot wounds. Both were shot behind the ear, according to family. It's unclear where the shootings took place, but his father, Ramon, is accused of driving to the med center apartment complex to help his son hide the bodies. They're all, they're all gone over marijuana, you know what I mean? Like Savannah's older brother, Jordan Corona, says it's almost unbearable to go through this pain again. Just last year, his brother, Ethan Soto, was murdered. It was a never-ending love for her son. It was a never-ending love that she had. And, you know, it would have been a beautiful thing to be able to watch. But, you know, the, the thing that I tell myself is that um, my little brother needed them more. And she needed my little brother more. And both family members tell me tonight that they want the district attorney to seek the death penalty in this case. The district attorney did release a statement today saying that it's just too soon to say if his office will do so. But he did say that Christopher could face an additional charge of capital murder for the death of baby Fabian. And both Christopher and his father were made here in the Bear County Jail tonight. Reporting live, Megan Reyna, Kins 5. Thank you, Megan.